right, next let's take a look at how effects can work with linear features like this set of roads. This is from the Department of Transportation, Utah, some data we have used in demos before where it's showing this safety index for each road segment where, uh, for example, this road on the north side of town is scoring a 3 out of 10. 10 is considered unsafe, so a 3 is a pretty good score. Uh, roads in orange are kind of the middle of the pack as far as safety, so like this is a 7.5. Roads in red, this is a 9.5 out of 10. So if you're prioritizing where to do some new policy or new interventions on the road network, you might look at the reddest roads first. So what can we do to kind of freshen this up with some effects? Uh, we choose the layer, you know, click on the layer and go to the effects panel right here. We got it. And then, um, you know, usually we start with Drop Shadow just to kind of see, does it add value? Does it immediately make things pop off the map? I would argue definitely if we kind of toggle this back and forth. Sure, it looks like it brings those roads up off the surface, the base map. And I can definitely see this road snaking up into the mountains towards Park City. And that's pretty cool. And then I was just goofing around. I turned on Bloom one day. I was like, whoa, that is not desirable. And I thought, but that's why these slider bars exist. Is there anything I could do with this slider bar to make Bloom a useful thing to this map? And I ended up at something like 0.3. And then I messed with the radius. And you can see what's happening on screen. There's kind of a glow coming in behind the roads. And that's kind of what I was going for is, you know, safe roads in a neighborhood make the neighborhood feel safe. So I was kind of curious whether we could get any of that feeling onto the map. And that's kind of where I ended up. So um, probably going to have to tune it scale by scale to make this really work the way I want. But um, of course, it depends on what the initial view of the map might be. Mm -hmm.